schools and some businesses are closed, but some people are still out and about. I was just at the hardware store, and it wasn't too busy, so either people are not taking it seriously or they feel prepared already. We're pretty used to high winds, but the storm surge could really be something. Uh, this from Sandy in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Heavy, heavy rain. Winds are kicking up. You can see the tops of the trees swaying dangerously. We have a standby generator we just got yesterday. I'm cooking dinner now, so if the power goes out, I can plug the microwave into the generator and reheat. And uh, Joe Palco, that points to the differences. Yeah, not a lot of heavy rain in New York. Yes, in downtown Pennsylvania. Location, location, location. You right. don't know. Yeah, uh, well, it, it, this storm has uh, got um, uh, many characteristics, so, and it just depends on where in the, in the, in the spiraling winds and pressure uh, changes that you're sitting. So it, it will be very varying depending on, yes, as you say, location. Let's see if we can squeeze one more caller in. And let's go to, uh, this is, uh, well, if I can make this work, Doug's on the line. Doug Withers from Stanton in Virginia. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for taking my call. Um, luckily, we've seen showers since about 10 o'clock last evening. The showers have been light. Um, we're expecting heavier showers this afternoon. Uh, a lot of uh, locals are rather concerned about forecasts to the western mountains from here. Uh, 50 inches of snow at Snowshoe Mountain. Um, personally, I'm concerned about issues related to weather modification and radar bursts from Wilmington, North Carolina at 8.55 on Saturday night, as well as radar bursts in the nation's capital set. Um, any of your listeners that be interested in looking at these bursts, please go to Dutch Sense at YouTube or Resonation Group. All right. Well, thanks very much for the call, Doug. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you. not familiar with radar bursts or how they might affect the weather, but... Uh, might see about that. Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who called and wrote and everybody who is preparing uh, for this storm. Please be careful and take care of yourself. Take your safety very, very seriously. Coming up, we'll go to the opinion page where an army, retired army officer that we argues that we've forgotten what losing a war actually looks like. John Noggle will join us. Stay with us. I'm Neil Conan. It's the Talk of the Nation from NPR News. <laughs> 